Hey guys, what is going on today? We'll be opening up some Scarlet and Violet base set. Uh, all I can say is the errors today were insane. The pulls, maybe not so much. So let's jump in and see what we got. Okay, so like we said, we have a Scarlet and Violet half booster box, I guess. Um, so let's get into this thing. Hopefully we can pull the Miriam. That would be great, but we'd also take the Guard of War. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. I think there's a Penny, Special Illustration of the Maraidon, the Karaidon. Any of those would be pretty good. I hate these boxes and the way they're packaged. It really infuriates me. Because they're, they're either really easy to get into or they're really difficult to get into. Okay, so 18 packs. Half of a regular booster box. We may get a secret rare here, we may not. But let's see. Now I need to remember that obviously with Scarlet and Violet, there is no card trick really. You just take the energy from the back. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> we have a grass energy. Starly, Tarunchula, Wattrell, Crocorock, Arvin, Cacturn, Mesagoza, we have a Reverse Hollow Flittle, we have a Floet's Reverse Hollow, and we have an Armour Rouge Regular Hollow. So I won't be sleeving any of the Regular Hollows in this video, because you're pretty much guaranteed one in every pack. Um, there's also a lot of Pokemon that I do not know the names of, because I've not played the Scarlet and Violet games. I've not done any of that. Something I will say about Scarlet and Violet packs is the actual pack itself feels a lot thicker. Like the actual packaging feels a lot thicker. But the code card feels a downside thinner, which is kinda weird. We have a small leaf, Primate, Pormy, Tarunchula, Hypno. That is a cool card. I actually really like that. And we have a Beach Court, Sandaconda, Varum, Bruxish. Our Bolivar. Our Bolivar? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so we are getting ever closer to actually starting up our own grading company, which is something I've worked towards for a while. Something I, I, I've always thought about doing. I know that code card was upside down, I apologise. Darkness Energy, Mankey, Squawkabilly, Capsukid, Alamomola, Driftblim, Defiance Band, Tatsugiri, Skeledurge Reverse Hollow Rare, Primeape, we have Coridon, Regular Hollow. No full arts yet, no illustration arts, none of that madness. Which is really upsetting. <laughs> yeah, these packs definitely feel thicker, like, like they're trying to protect the cards more, which I'm glad to see. Um because then you might get a higher grade, I suppose. Ryolu, Magneton, Cloitzer, Grievard, Katie, Staraptor, Electric Generator, Staravia, Sertoddle, and we have a Slowbro, regular hole. Again, I really like this Slowbro card. It's just so... I don't know, there's, it's the art. There's something about it, it's just really nice. It's not your basic, you know, fiery background with a fiery Pokemon. It's, it's, a, it's a little odd, you know, it's a little psychedelic, and I, and I like it. It really does feel weird opening Scarlet and Violet because it's, I don't know, I just can't get used to it. Fighting Energy, Pom, Pom More, Toad School, Rotom, Chansey, Nest Ball, Pachirisu, Picnic Basket, Quaxwell, Houndoom, well, that is a cool Houndoom, and Indeedy. It's nice to see that they didn't get rid of the Indeedy. As I have definitely not got enough DDs in my life. I'm actually getting a little concerned that we don't have a single pull yet. Again, cold cards upside down, I don't care. You guys will still be able to take that. Anyway, fire energy, that's the first fire energy of the video. Mashif, Ponyard, Wigwit, Toad School, 
I hate the name of that. I don't know why, I just don't like its name. Wug Trio. Judge. Floatzel. Shroomish. Ryolu. And King Gambit. King Gambit is yet another new one. I'm actually really glad to have something that's not from the older sets. King Gambit. I actually really like the uh, style of that Pokemon. And I know it evolves from a Bishar, and it's just... I don't know. Something about it is just nice. Um, I'm not very experienced with Scarlet and Violet. This is probably the second time I'm opening it. Maybe even on this... I don't even know if I've opened it on this channel before. Oh, I have. I did the, uh, the booster bundle, of course. Ooh, we finally have an art rare. It is a Sandile. The print lines on this thing are ridiculous. We will not be grading that. And we have an RK9 EX crystallized motherfucker. Okay. As far as I can see, no print lines on this, and the borders are actually pretty good. I might grade this myself. I actually am loving that. that. I like the hollow pattern as well. I like that it's completely textured the entire way around the card. That's really nice. I suppose we'll put this in a sleeve, even though it has crazy print lines. I actually, you know what? I, I actually might do that one as well. I might. Just maybe, we'll, uh, we'll grade that one as well, just to show the variance of our grading standards. Okay. Again, code card. I feel like the code cards are really annoying because the way I turn them around... <laughs> it's all about me, obviously. Uh, the way I turn them around, it always ends up upside down. And I don't like it. Scatterbug. That is something they've implemented in Pokemon Go. They haven't put any other Scarlet and Violet Pokemon in there, but Scatterbug's been in there for a while now. Miriam, Lucario, Rock, Chestplate, Smoliv, Chansey, and we have a Maridon EX. Okay, again, into a sleeve. It's not the illustration rare, but we will take it nonetheless. Nice card. I'm really glad to see the return of EXs because obviously I didn't collect Pokemon cards in the in the era of the EX cards. So it's nice that they've been brought back. So that's possible now for the younger generation, I suppose. There we go. I have a feeling it's gonna be a bad card, I don't know. But I'm, I'm basing that off past experience, which just isn't right because obviously these aren't the same as Sword and Shield. Sandaconda, Katie, Staraptor, Florigato. Whee! Well, we know we haven't got a big pull at the end. Tanda Mouse. See, I'm liking the mouse Pokemon. I'm liking, like, the little mouse uh, cards. And we have a Mouse Garada. So our Florigato evolved into the Mouse Garada. Can we get the Gyarados? That would be great, the Gyarados as well as the uh, the Arcanine, but I don't I don't see that happening. I still can't get used to the one from the back. I really can't. We have Water Energy, Drifloon, Sprigatito, Flittle, Surviper, Sea Titan, Team Star Grunt, Zangoose, Reverse Hollow Houndour, Reverse Hollow Fury Coco, Ever Maridon, Regular, Hollow. Now. I'm getting a little concerned that we've got two packs with pulls in, and that is it. Code card, you may or may not want to use that, I don't know. Darkness Energy. Lechonk, Flabebe, Growlithe, Staravia, Judge, Floatzel, Team Star Grunt, Reverse Hollow Pormi, Reverse Hollow Cyclozar, and we have a Coridon EX Full Art. I, I hate that this is going to be my secret rare. I really do hate that it's going to be my secret rare. And that is not a perfect turn either because it has marks on the top. <sighs> I'm upset. I wanted Miriam or something something better, but we'll, we'll take the Coridon EX. <laughs> we'll take it. It can go with the Maride on there. Okay. See, I used to do this thing, right, I could almost tell 
which cards had which packs had pulls in and which packs didn't because I like I just had this astute kind of knowledge of being able to tell the difference in the weights in packs and I could use and it's, it was very common that I would pick packs that had really good pulls in as opposed to packs that didn't and people hated me for it because I always seem to get really good packs but I can't do that with Scarlet and Violet because most of the packs were pretty much the same that's an error pack um, <laughs> I've never seen that before. Upside down card. Houndstone. Anyway. It's been a while since we've had an error pack. I think the last error pack we had was uh, a long time ago. And we got like six or seven reverse hollows in one pack. Which was absolutely insane. I've never seen a pack like that since. And I'm likely to never see a pack like that again. Is that upside down again? It's upside down again. What is going on? We have a fire energy. Ralts, Tandem House, Pocky Gear 3.0, Floet, Lucario, Rock Chest Plate, Sea Titan, Indeedy, Houndstone, and we have a Quaquaval Regular Hollow. Thankfully, it's nothing big, nothing major that has been put in upside down. I'm really hoping for more pulls here because this is a little disappointing. I'm not going to lie. Up to now, I've had good luck with Scarlet and Violet. And it seems that that luck is, is starting to run out. So let's hope for something in this pack. We have a Lightning Energy, Energy Switch, Varu, Clauncher, Skiddo, Tatsugiri, Jack, Floragato, Reverse Hollow Magikarp. I really like that art for the Magikarp. I think it's really nice. Ponyard, and once again, upside down, we have a cloth. Okay. What is actually going on? This entire print run is going to be, it's going to be upside down again, isn't it? I can, I, I can feel it. This time, it's going to be something good. I hope. You're not getting the code card this time. It's upside down again. We have a Metal Energy, Pormy, Smoliv, Wigglet, Grievard, Flaffy, Youngster, Blissey, Reverse Holo Grimer, Reverse Holo Espathra. I have never seen that Pokemon before. It's kind of mad. And we have a Professor's Research. Okay, last three packs. Can we get something good in these last three? I really, really hope so. So as this is going to be a very disappointing uh, half booster. I've I've never seen so little pulls out of a half booster before. Upside down again. <laughs> this is just an error box at this point. Quaxley, Sharkadet, Squawit, Lechonk, EXP Share, Stonjona, Penny, Slowpoke, Wiglet, Professor's Research again. What are the odds? One after another. Okay, down to the last two packs. It's, it's looking like it's going to be some last pack magic here. It really is. Okay. Water Energy. Mashif. Spupa. Staravia. Ralts. Jack. Floragato. Zangoose. Reverse Hollow Crocorock. Reverse Hollow Starly. And we have an Iron Treads EX. Finally, the right way up. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is actually quite a common EX card. So I'm not all that excited, but I, I still like the fact that we've got an EX. And I really like the hollow pattern, like the stars and such. I didn't open this in Japanese, but I do know uh, that the hollow was much more prominent. Like the, the stars and such were uh, a lot more noticeable, but obviously in the English they're a little duller. Which is, is, is absolutely fine. I cannot complain. But I still like the pattern on it. Cold card. Take that. Upside down, it's not going to be a pull. It's going to be a disappointing end to this video. Like always, Darkness Energy, Starly, Tarunchula, Wattrel, Crocorock, Medicham, Waxwell, Cyclozar, Reverse Hollow Pomo. And to end off this video, this weird upside down box, we have another regular hollow, Houndstorm.
upside down man's in Australia so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see me do more skull and violet openings I am very much happy to do so let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video peace out